Okay, guys, so remember how yesterday I unboxed this quarter pipe. Really nice quarter pipe. I've been waiting this for this for like a week, right? But then I did not plan this at all. My mom decided to surprise me. I had... Well, I'll talk about it while I open the package. Alright, so... Eyeballing these David Jones fingerboards, you know, fork fingerboards. If you have, if you've ever seen them, that just spoiled the whole thing. I just saw the receipt. Great. Okay, that's okay. Well, she told me. Oh, I asked her which one she got me because she just handed me this package like five minutes ago, and I asked her what well, which one was it because I read the label and I asked her which one she got me right. And she did not tell me. She told me the one you really liked. But there was two that I really liked. So I didn't, I don't know which one. But I just saw which one because I saw the receipt. But, oopsie. But you guys don't know. The moment of truth. You guys are going to get a good look at it before I do. Do you see it? So nice grip tape. I have this grip tape. Okay. Next of all, oh my gosh. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I. Dang it, I'm struggling. Oh my gosh, Broski. Hold on, let's compare this to my old deck. Look at this. Can obviously tell this piece of garbage. All right, so we got that thing. <laughs> Imagine I threw this one on accident, okay. Well, it looks like the holes aren't poked all the way, but that is a-okay. Actually. So, I did know that it was a fingerboard deck when I saw that it said David Jones on the box. Wait, let me check this receipt. Let me see. Okay, so that's what gave it away for me because I opened the box and I saw that. So I knew which one it was. But that's okay. Okay, so I got, so the old deck I just had that I chucked behind me somewhere. That is no longer going to be my setup because that is some Amazon board. That's not the best. I just didn't have a board anymore because my Blackbird one won't work. But now, it's so, oh my gosh, bro. If you've ever seen a David Jones video, what's up? Hey, come here. You want me on camera? Hey, here. Hold on. Let me get my cat. Hey. Oh, oh don't meow me. Here's my cat. Say hi. Hi. Like and subscribe. You heard him. <laughs> I'm kidding. You don't have to like and subscribe. You can if you want, but oh my. I don't know if you can see that, but like in the sunlight, it's so shiny. Like, you know how if you have like a phone or a tablet or anything with like, like a screen, how if you put it like up to the sun, you can use it as like a laser beam type thing. Well, that's what I can do with this. Like, it's that shiny. Oh. My gosh. I'm kind of glad it came in one piece because, like, no hate, David, but, like, there's not really any stuffing. 
and neither in this little bag thing. It's just a bag. But hey, it came in one piece. I'm happy. I'm not complaining. Okay, so we're going to get these dynamics and these ill pills on this deck. Does it look good with black? Oh my gosh. <sighs> Beautiful. Alrighty. Let me get a fingerboard tool. Oh, I forgot. Back to what I was saying. If you've ever seen a David Jones video, you know how often he will randomly shout, Fingerboard week! Like, all the time. You know what week it is? It's fingerboard week. Yes, ma'am. Sure or ma'am, whatever you are. Oh, no. I'm struggling right now. I would love to do unboxing like this every day. But here's the reality. I don't have millions and trillions of dollars to spend on fingerboard stuff. Or just millions and trillions of dollars in the first place. Like, I really wish, I really do. That would be literally amazing if i just had like all the money in the world to spend on fingerboard stuff but i don't and that's the reality if anyone wants to give me like a million dollars to spend on fingerboard stuff call me <laughs> but yeah so i can't do unboxing videos that often for that reason because I'm not a million trillion, not even a ten air right now. I have five bucks to my name, especially after I bought that from the quarter pipe. And yeah, I I don't know how long y'all have been watching David Jones, but I've been watching him for so long. Been watching him since like tech tech days. I am not a very good truck putter on her. If you can't tell that by just watching me. Yeah. So if y'all love David Jones like I do, hit the subscribe button. Just kidding. Once again, you don't have to, but it supports me a lot. Right now, I do not make a dime off of YouTube. It would be nice one day if I could make at least a dime off of YouTube. I'm not expecting to become... A millionaire off YouTube. I just I want to show people about what I love and my hobbies and what I like doing. I'm really struggling. <gasps> I got it. I did it. Yay! <laughs> I'm such a professional. Dang. These trucks are going on the street, too. The other deck I had off Amazon, the holes weren't, like, lined up right. The trucks, I had to, like, kept unscrewing certain ones and screwing back in other ones. It was so weird. I just could not get the trucks on. I don't know if it was the deck or my trucks. Also, yesterday, when I was sessioning quarter pipe with my dynamics like um i took off my wheel to look at it and it got stuck on it was so weird and it like would not come off like i was seriously like scared Come off, but then I had to like 
put it on the edge of my table like that and like pry it off and then I, and then it just kept falling off after that like I don't know what I did but I think I busted the wheel and I don't know how but like these are like I spent like 50 bucks on these wheels these are I bought ill pills bro they can't be shutting down on me like that these things are expensive. I mean, it does come with five. So I was just able to fix it with the new one. But then even today, I was using my fingerboard ramp. And a whole different wheel came off. And I have like lock, I have like lock nuts and stuff on. So it's not supposed to come off. I figured that it just happened because it happened. Broski Woski. Come on now. I don't know why. I'm just not good at putting on fingerboard trucks, apparently. This is gonna be another long video if I take forever putting on these trucks. I wish I knew how to do a time lapse, but I'm not very good at editing my videos. One truck on now. Oh dang, that looks. Hold on, maybe I can nollie kick flip with one truck on, not with no grip. I'm still working on my nollie kick flip, so not the best item. Oh my gosh, I do. I don't want to ever try to land a nollie heel. Cause we're like, I struggle with like heel flips, you know. I don't know why, but like, you know, like a varial heel flip. I'm actually really good at them for some reason. Like I thought they were like supposed to be like one of the harder tricks, but they just really kind of easy for me. Oh no, I gotta do a kickflip test. I get done with this. It's not a new setup though, it's just a new board, but still. Every kickflip counts, oh my gosh. Maybe I shouldn't do that screw first. I don't know why, but uh, do you guys is... Oh, wait, I know how to do that. Yeah. Just loosen the truck. Bam, now that little... My inverted pin thing. Thing thing. Oh, my cat's going to start knocking stuff down if I don't let him out. Maybe. I don't know if he wants out of it. Oh, he's just climbing on my stuff. Never mind. I thinking, I don't know if he wants out or if he just wants to climb on my stuff. But he's not waiting at the door. He'll whine at the door if he wants out. I slept in here with my closed door once. 
with my door closed once and my cat was in here. Oh my gosh, she threw the biggest fit. He was like, he, he was probably like whining and stuff, but I didn't hear him because I was like sound asleep. But oh my gosh, he knocked like everything over. I had a ship in a bottle. I'm one of my kindergartner teachers when I was in third grade. And I got it from her, right? That thing right there. Yeah, you can see him that one. He broke it. Because cats are awesome. Well, cats are awesome, but that did not make me very happy. But I mean, stuff happens, you know. This truck's working so much easier. I gotta tighten my trucks after I do this. I just loosened them. I have three bullets on. That is enough, but I want to be safe. So I normally put all four. And I do know you can put all two. Don't spam me in the comments like, why are you taking so long? You can just put two on each. I know, but I put four to be safe. Kinda happy that she got me this one. I also told her that if I was to buy one, that I would buy this one because I like this one more. I like don't even want to use this. It's just such a nice graphic. You ever have fingerboards that you like don't want to use or you wish graphics weren't real wear? Hey, stop chewing on stuff. Do you want out? Hey. Well, you want attention? All right. That's probably why he's in here. I'm busy. Well, I'm, not, I'm never too busy to pet my cat. So I'm just... Or are you trying to be on camera again? You've been on camera for like the past... Okay, he walked. You better not chew on those cords. That would not make me very happy. All right. Oh, now yeah, tighten my truck. Recently, trying to have my trucks more loose because I've had them like crazy tight recently. But I don't like having them that tight, it's just not amazing. So I loosen them up so that I can have more control over the board. And it's been so much better ever since then. By the way, those failed kick loops do not count because I don't have grip on. So we gotta put that stuff on so far. It is so beautiful. Maybe I can do a variable heel with no grip. What do you think? Comment down below if you think I can do it or not. Oh, it's kind of sloppy, but... Oh, yeah. Professional. I don't have a nail file. There we go. I got a nail file. Should I do grip tape design? No, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna... Nice and simple.
So, what do you guys think? Would you buy this fingerboard? I think I definitely would if I had the money. But now, I wouldn't because I have it. Maybe one of the other ones, but also, then I would be like, I need to buy more dynamics or ill fills or black or red trucks or just more wheels and stuff. I also, I saw, I was looking on the Broken Knuckle website the other day for some reason, you know, like P rep boards. It was kind of cheap um, boards you can get off Amazon. They're not horrible, but they're not amazing like like the boards I like the boards I use and stuff. Well, they normally have plastic wheels. They normally have plastic wheels with bearings. Well, they started making urethane wheels, which I found out, and I kind of want to buy some and review them. But I wouldn't compare them to my ill pills. I would probably compare them to my old setup. I got a setup from LC and I got urethane wheels with that setup. I'm amazing at putting grip tape on, can you tell? No. This grip tape is gonna be bad by the time I get it on. Well, what was this thing? Oh. Well, I have this fingerboard. It's an LC board, it's complete. It has metal trucks, urethane wheels with bearings, on your wood board. Well, these bearing wheels only cost like 20 bucks. So I think that if I was to buy the P Rep Pal bearing wheels, I would compare them to those. But the P Rep bearing wheels that are the P Rep urethane bearing wheels, they only cost like 10 bucks, which I think is amazing. But it could be amazing or it could be like no wonder those cost 10 bucks you know hopefully if i buy them they're like like dang those could cost like 30 bucks or something like that or like 40 60 you know hopefully they're not like as cheap as they cost <laughs> like for 10 bucks i would expect like plastic wheels with bearings I am such a professional gripper. Like, I am, oh my, wait, I actually did. Wow, look at that. Okay, foot, no. All right, well, let's get grip in this board while I talk some more. Let me make sure it's straight. All right. Well, I am really... Did I say let's get gripping this board while I talk? Let's get um making sand. I am tired. <laughs> let's get this grip tape done and dealt with. Well, I'm super excited. To do this board also if you want to pick up one of these boards because you like them or something you could check out david jones's channel it's just called david jones you can check out his channel or it's just pork fingerboards they're out of stock a lot of the time and it might take a while because he's like eight thousand miles away he made a video where he um, visited America with um, Andy Schrock and then and he said he's like 8,500 miles away from them, but I live in America too, so he's got to be like some odd 8,000 miles away. So we've got one piece off. It's not looking the best right now, but it's a work in progress. my table why is 
see. My grip's getting dirty for some reason. Let me just do that. Try to peel these parts off. So you could, um, if you wanted one of these, you could go pork fingerboards. I don't know if it's like .gov, www, I don't know. I think it's .com then. Just pork, pork fingerboards. But he does live in New Zealand. And he said that a plane only ships out from there, like, like, um, I think he said once every three, three days. I don't remember, but, oh, dang, this boy's beautiful, all right, well, yeah, so I'm not exactly sure, but it only took, like, I think I talked to her about this, like, a week ago. No, it was more like three weeks ago. I, um, I talked, wait. I could check the date on the receipt. Oh. Dang. What's the date like? She ordered it like March 1st. That was fast. Not my best grip job there. I don't know, maybe the grip tape's not good. Alright, I think I got most of the dust off of me. Get that out of the way for now. Garbage can comes in handy sometimes because I kind of just like to stick grip tape in here. I take care of my garbage with it. I pretty much only use stick like grip tape and stuff in here though. Because like it's pretty tiny garbage can. I stuff like food or something in there, it get moldy. It's just to get fingerboard parts decoration, not Grip tape catcher or food. I don't know what I'm saying. Speaking, we know Abno English lots of the times, okay? We know Abno Espanol either. Just a little bit. Okay. Oh my. Hold on. We gotta clean this up a little bit. I like to get little chunks off, like just smoothing out the grip tape. Every time after I, even if like it's a good grip job, I'll just like come and like smoothing it out. But this was actually good grip job. I'm getting really good at grip jobs. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at that. Do you see that? Do you see that? Oh, excuse 
Excuse me. That is... Oh my gosh! Okay, wait. Are my trucks too loose? Alright. Like this. Three, two, one. Oh wait, I, I didn't even... I'm a professional, can you tell? No. <laughs> Three, two. This is a kickflip test. Well, not really. I'm just gonna see if I can land my first trick. Really? Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, all right, let's try that again. I got a pro fingerboard again. Oh, it was still a good fingerboard. There was nothing really wrong with it. It was pretty much just, I didn't have a real good deck. You don't need a good deck to fingerboard though. Just, dang bro, I don't even want to use it. I just want to like hang it up on the wall and be like, I have this. Got my, I mean, I bought. My trucks might be a little too loose for me. I'm gonna tighten them a little bit. Yeah, that's better. They're still pretty loose. I used to have them like really tight. This came off earlier. Hold on, I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna get this bit. But yeah, if you're a decent fingerboarder or you have already like fingerboard setups and stuff, and you try and upgrade your setup or something like, let's say you have a tech deck and you're like, I'm sick of this thing. I'm gonna buy a fingerboard deck. You definitely could go on Amazon and buy a fingerboard deck. But you know what else you definitely could do? You could buy a David Jones fingerboard deck. This is pork fingerboard. It's like the original one. But that is just beautiful. And it also came with a sticker. So, let me move stuff out of the way. This is everything I got for this. Okay. So, she ordered, my mom, she ordered the deck only, right? So, don't, ignore the, the dynamics, the ill pills, ignore those, right? But, it came with, but this grip tape, it came with this grip, and, dang, it's smooth. smooth piece of grip tape so i got this grip tape it's a really really nice deck and the sticker wonder and this is probably why you don't order stuff that's like really far away this tiny deck and a sticker was 28 deck was 28 right tax and shipping 
was so much that it ended up being like $51. That is crazy. How much was tax? So the deck, so the the total before like tax and shipping, $28, $19 shipping, $4.27 tax, bro. I definitely recommend this if like either you're trying to get a wood board or well pretty much if you, if you have like a good setup or you're trying to get a good setup I recommend this because like if you have like a tech deck or something or like a PRUP board and you're just trying to upgrade your board I wouldn't buy this because shipping's a lot well it depends on where you live but it's like already 30 before tax and shipping. Like after tax and shipping for where I live, 51.27. So I don't recommend this if you have like a tech deck and you want like a wood board, unless you're willing to spend 50 bucks on a board. But you also definitely could spend 50 bucks on like a board, your thing wheels, um, trucks, grip. So yeah, but for me, like already having like a pro setup and stuff, and I've had several pro setups, this board, definitely recommend this if you just want like, like you're trying to get a good setup or you're trying to upgrade your setup that you already have like wood board and stuff. I definitely recommend it. Yeah. So all right.